folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Week in Review. This is a video we put out each week where we talk about all the reviews we did over the past week. Give you a short summary of them. Hey, do you want to know more about them? Then conveniently, in the description, there are links to the full reviews. Hopefully this is useful to you. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Z Garcia here. So here's what I was up to last week. We put out a new best of the month. Go check that out for some recent discoveries, some great new favorites. We put out a new board game blender talking about mechanisms and ideas we'd like to see reused in more games. Check that out as well. And then I did a comparison video between the new printing of Don't Mess With Cthulhu Deluxe from uh, Indie Boards and Cards to the original printing that they did. Just showing you the little uh, mini expansions that are included, the new components that take the game up to eight players. Besides that, I reviewed two little card games. One not so good and one really good. So the first, Life is Life. This is a small card game in which you are going to be trying to collect sets in your hand and then compare those sets to everybody else's sets in their hand. There's a lot of scoring. Count how many cards you've got of this. Okay, write that down, count on that. And it's a really slow paced kind of game. You know, it just kind of takes a while to do any little thing. There's a lot of shuffling. You're dealing out 10 cards to everyone. You set out a display on the table. It's slow. The ratio of gameplay to just manipulating stuff is not great. The other game is the exact opposite of that. It's a game called Kariba. This is a tiny little card game, very portable. And in this one, you are spending very little time scoring, very little time taking your turn. It moves along at a great clip. It takes about 10 minutes if you play with two players, and I've been playing this two players a lot. And you are simply making sets of animals on the table, and then those animals capture the next lowest available animal. So once I play three sevens, if there's any sixes, I'll take them. Of course, as soon as there's three sevens, you bet everybody's on the lookout for some eights, so they can capture those sevens. And they can even go above three cards. Sometimes you have a great big old stack. And once you get to the third, you would capture the next lowest. So no one wants to play the first one. You either want to play all three at once, or wait for someone else to play one, and then boom, boom, one, two, and you do it. So it's fun. It's a, a little bit of a game of chicken, engaging, as simple as it gets, but what a beautiful little filler. That's Kariba. And that's it for me. I will see you all on the next one. All right, for me, first we're going to start with Greedy Dragons. Unfortunately, Greedy Dragons isn't that good of a game because it just has way too much randomness involved with it. Uh, but it has a neat concept of placing cards and pointing arrows at other people's to where the treasures go. What a cool idea, but in the long run, doesn't work well. Museum Rush, another game I was excited about this one. Going into a museum and stealing things. But it's, again, has too much randomness. You go in, you bump, grab some treasures. Maybe they're good, you roll dice. It has some neat concepts, but doesn't really congeal into a good game. Who goes there? Yeah, I took a lot of heat on my review of this one, uh, but I'm just not a big fan of the game. One thing I forgot to mention in the actual overview of the game is how much I dislike the fact that there's player elimination in such a long game. And the fact that you can just literally take someone out if you want to. But, as you can see from the comments of my review, very much in a minority on this one, or at least from the Kickstarter backers. A lot of people really like this, and I'm sure if you think the theme is great, you'll have a fantastic time, so I can tell you to check it out. Haida Funakawa, this is a uh, weird bidding game. It's interesting. I didn't dislike it, but it's almost too weird to enjoy. Uh, because you're, you're bidding on things that you don't know what they are, then you build a little grid of a town in front of you. Shogunite, this is uh, the winner of Geekway to the West design team finals. And it's essentially you have two shoguns that you want to do well, or maybe the same shogun that's twice, and you are over this course of the game moving them up or down and trying to get honor on them. It's an interesting style game, can be played very casually. Five Minute Chase is this whole very frenetic game where one person's chasing the other and one person's playing tiles as fast as they can, and the other person's trying to catch them. It's quick, it's really fast, it's going to be the same thing over and over and over again, but hey, it takes five minutes. Team Up. Another real casual game where you're paired with a partner and you're just basically playing numbers and trying to get three sixes or six, seven, eight or two of a kind that are red, whatever they are. And you're passing some cards to your teammate. Kind of one of those real laid back card games. Now boarding. This is an airplane. Uh, you're running an airline trying to not get passengers angry. So 
a fantasy world, uh, and you're working and there's these passengers that are showing up and you work together cooperatively to get them across the country. I really like the look of the game. I really like it, the idea. It's a lot of fun. I, I don't know that it has a huge amount of diversity. It's going to play the same way each time, but I still enjoy it. Tragic Events expansion for Flashpoint Fire Rescue. This adds some event cards and a way to just, it gets rid of the hot spots and replaces that. Also adds a, a few more guys, a solid expansion for the game. Ninjutsu, I did not expect to like this one very much, but it's hilarious fun as you're placing cards in front of you face up or face down. You can steal cards from other people, but sometimes it will blow up in your face to some degree. Silly, a little artwork, fun for kids and adults. I recommend it. Lowlands. I was very pleasantly surprised by this one. It looked like every other Rosenberg game. In fact, it's in the Rosenberg line, even though he didn't design it. And it's a game where you're trying to uh, block the water coming in over the dikes, build dikes up, get a lot of sheep. Very great, cool mechanisms and a lot of interaction for a Euro game, something I'm not used to. Expansity. This is a city building game with some amazing components. It looks fantastic when you're done. Uh, when I was done with the last game of it, I took some pictures. I was just so impressed with how the game came out. Just a lot of entertaining, neat things in it. Um, but it's also fairly simple. Build some buildings, score points. I like that sort of thing. Legendary. Marvel Legendary War War Hulk is possibly my favorite expansion for the set thus far. Great theming. I love War War Hulk and Planet Hulk. Lots of cool mechanisms. Transforming cards into other cards. Outwit. There's some really neat stuff in there including Transforming Masterminds. Just great stuff. And then Root. What an amazing asymmetrical game this is from the same company that brought us Vast and uh, from the same designer who brought us John Company, which is a much heavier game, taking, from what I understand, the coin system and bringing it, uh, which is a more complex war one, and bringing it down to where it makes sense, but with four very asymmetrical factions. The cats who rule the land, the woodland creatures who are up in arms against them, the birds who want to make their own empire, and then a vagabond who's wandering around helping who he so may desire. Really great. I mean, really good. Definitely check it out. That's Root. So that's the Week in Review, folks. Thanks so much for watching our show. We put, of course, a lot of other videos out. You can check them out on our channel. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.